The Source SDK is available to anybody with any of the following titles on Steam. It can be accessed in Steam by clicking on the Tools tab, then by double clicking the Source SDK. This screen should eventually appear. To choose the game you want to map for, find the game in the drop down list at the bottom. Before this however, you'll have to find the engine version the game uses. If you want to map for Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch or Half-Life 2 Episode 1, choose the engine version Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Then select the game you want in the second drop down menu. If you want to map for Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2 or Portal, select the engine version the orange box, then find the game you want in the second drop down menu. If you do choose to map for these games, the hammer editor may look slightly different to what is shown in this tutorial, but it will still work in the same way. If you can use one version, you will pick up the other straight away. Double click on the hammer editor at the top. If it says that the configuration information is missing or that there is no gameinfo.txt, it means that you haven't played the game yet. Load up the game you want to map for in Steam, configure the graphics and controls you want, perhaps load up a map on it, then restart the tutorial and it will work. If you are still having problems, try double clicking on refresh SDK content and reset game configurations. These tend to fix most problems. Once Hammer has loaded, I recommend going up to Tools, then clicking on Options. Select the tab called 3D Views and set the back clipping plane to 10,000 and the model render distance to 10,000. These will increase how far you can see in the Hammer Editor when editing your map. In the section titled Navigation, set it to your personal preference. Mine is shown here. The layout of all of my buttons may look slightly different to yours. To rearrange them, hold down the mouse button on the bit you want to move avoiding any of the buttons and drag it to the place you want them to be. If you mess anything up, load up the hammer editor again and it should fix the problem. Go to View, Screen Elements and ensure that everything is ticked. This will ensure that you have everything you need on the screen somewhere, it's just a matter of finding them. Finally, go up to File and click New. Four black boxes should appear on your screen. In the top left one it should say camera. Click on where it says camera and choose 3D shaded textured polygons. Hammer is now set up properly.